All right, quick update on the shelf project. We uh, had an electrician come out today to see if they can move the box. We kind of want to do this for a couple reasons, but the main one is so we can build in shelving units there. I've got the base mounted, so that is all mounted to raise the butcher block to the level we want for the base. And we've got two coats of stain. It's a little dark in here. Two coats of stain on the butcher block. Turned out pretty good. Don't do a lot of staining, but um, it's not too hard. Using the, I think is like the most classic Minwax stain. I think we had some for some flooring we did and another butcher block that we stained. So using Provincial 211. Um, <clears throat> cut the butcher block, cut the butcher block. Uh, let's see, the cut side is over here on this side. Um, let's see, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the front. Just sand it, hand sanded the front to give it a little bit of a, not even a bevel, just a rounded edge. It's, it's pretty, um, a pretty hard edge. Here's the back where I did not sand it. So it comes with a pretty, pretty hard corner there. So sanded it just so that the front lip here is not quite so uh, damaging if somebody were to bump their shin against it or something. So this will form the base of the storage area the cubbies and then uh, we built the first cubby so first time ever making kind of like custom cabinetry here I don't want to overdo it here it's not that fancy but <clears throat> just using three-quarter inch birch I can't remember the grade a3 maybe I don't know it's good enough grade sandable uh, plywood we're gonna paint this not stain it but it is birch and so is the butcher block. So if we were to stain it the same, it would probably look, probably take the stain pretty similarly. Pretty happy with it. Turned out okay. These are like 14 and a quarter and they'll be, they'll be 14 and a quarter by 14 and a quarter. And then once we face trim them, um, there'll be a little bit of a, you know, an overlap there. Essentially making the equivalent to like an Ikea cubby so we can get lots of little, you know, storage baskets and things that'll fit in it. Ended up going with five shelves see one two three four and then the base just with the way the height worked out the height is such that it'll sit on top of the butcher block and it'll go up um so that i can put one on top going across and it'll go across the door it'll go up above the door that i that's next to the storage area um and so the way it worked out is we started from the top we'll end up this will be the base of another cabinet we'll cover that we'll put pocket holes Let's see in here. That'll just screw that base. And then um, we just worked our way down and we'll end up with kind of a small cubby on the bottom, which ended up being about a half a half cubby on the bottom, which would be fine. It'd be nice for little storage things. Uh, noticing, let's see, yeah. Most of these are flush to the face. We cut these a little short just so that when we put them together, the... Um, so they're a little short on the back on purpose, just so that this will hit the back wall and we won't have any of these sticking out. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, but it worked out with the way we were cutting them. So yeah, pretty happy with it. Use the uh, Craig jig that my friend loaned me. Um, I've used it before, but uh, it just, it does work really well. It's, it's really, they're really pretty slick. So the little clamp here, we're actually screwing the pocket holes. It's kind of a two-part system. You've got the special bit here where you set the depth of the bit and it screws all, you know, drills all the way in, makes the pocket for the screw to go in and then a little pilot hole. And then this clamp, I guess I can kind of demo this a little bit. You can look up a hundred videos on this, so it's not that important, but it's kind of fun to do it for real. I'll just do this with one hand. So clamp the uh, board in like that. And that actually sets, these are all the same angle and everything. So you just take a drill and drill through there, which will create the pocket just like that. And uh, depending on the depth of the wood you have and the thickness of the wood you have, you set this higher or lower, which sets the entry point for the screw and how far it'll come out in the middle. Um, so we set ours perfectly and you can see 
it works great. It goes in there and creates a nice little pilot hole when we're installing, actually installing them. Um, it's just a normal, normal uh, square bit. <clears throat> but when you're actually screwing them in, my friend said when he had done it, he had had the board kind of walk on him a little bit. So you see our mark there, just set a mark of where it's gonna go. And then when we would screw them in, I held it really tight while he screwed them in. We had this board laid down and these were facing straight up. So just turned right at a right angle. And uh, when he would put the screw in there, he would just set it, actually poke it through the veneer just enough so that it bit immediately and didn't walk at all. So again, you could probably find a hundred videos on how to do this, but it's kind of fun to see it all come together. So what's gonna happen is this will sit, if you take this, it's gonna sit on that side over there. So this will be the front. We'll have a cabinet right here going up and then we'll have one going across and then uh, this will be an open bench area. Given how thick this, or how deep this is, it's 25 inches deep. Um, I may put some little cubbies in here just to hold shoes and stuff because we don't really need that, that depth. Um, so we'll see. Some of it's kind of dependent on being able to move the uh, move the panel to this side of the wall. I really hope that the quote we got for that is not too expensive and they can just flip it around, get the panel here. We may even move the entry point of the electrical. Right now it's coming overhead. We may bury it and bring it in on that wall over there. It's a big mess over here. But um, I'm thinking about putting a door on this backside that goes out to a deck. So once this project's done, we're gonna clean all this up and redo the interior of the shop completely. That'll be the next big project. Take all the old insulation out. We've had some mice in there. It's just kind of nasty. So we're gonna take all that down, uh, put up new insulation and then kind of close in the whole area, probably put in new windows. We'll see how far we go. But first, this project in the electrical. And then we'll go from there. We're doing a bunch of projects in the next couple months. So expect a lot more videos.